Yes, sir. Hey, the old hardtail rug, son. Now we're talking one of my favorite lures of all time. Wow, well, he jumped off. Hey, folks. Hey, fellow YouTubers. I'm going to show you one of my favorite lures. This is the hardtail grub. It's uh, it's by Yamamoto. It's a, it's a lure that I use a lot. And uh, this one's kind of messed up. So let me get a brand new one out and I'll show you how I rig it up. Hey, that was just representative of some of the fish I've caught. In the last two years, I've probably caught more quality fish and placed as well in tournaments as well all around the country. Like Chickamauga and, and Santee Cooper and all these other places that I've gone. I've done really well on this hardtail grill. So let me get this thing here figured out. I'm using a screw lock. And what the screw lock is, is a way of attaching it to this big hook. Okay, that's a big screw lock. And I'm coming into the front of the screw lock like this. And I'm screwing the front end of that hardtail grub. Screwing it right in there. Big time like this. And then... I hook it right through the back, boom, and I'm using a little eighth of an ounce lead weight, and that's heavy braid, which we use in heavy weight, and I'm using a big flipping stick. Basically what I'm doing is I'm just throwing it out where I know there's some hydrilla, or edges of this, this is a pond in here, just kind of edges of the pond, just kind of reeling it slow, I'm just, I'm just getting it down three or four or five feet, just kind of easing it along, and uh, seems to be the deal. I don't know I don't know which side they're on but I'm just going to ease along here and I'm going to uh, and what I what I'm doing out here is it I know because I've already been around all this there's there's little patches of hydrilla out there small little patches and so what I'm doing this hard tail is getting down four or five feet probably. a lot of it's open water so I haven't hit it It's really important to be just ticking the hydrilla. I'm only down a couple feet deep. But the water is deeper than that. The water could be six or eight or ten feet deep. I don't know. There's the strike. I root it down to him and set the hook. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's characteristic of how we set the hook. Bigger ones. We'll catch bigger ones. There's some big ones. The big fish bite this thing. This is a big fish bait. And that's the beautiful thing about this particular swim bait is that the tail action works probably the best of any swim bait I've ever seen. Just very little movement, the tail really works well. Don't pull this That's why you need heavy heavy tackle like this. This is the reason. That's the reason right there. You get all in the grass. Get in the grass like that. <laughs> That's the reason right there. Okay. Nice fish. Okay, heavy tackle. I'm telling you, I'll get all these people, they'll all complain and they'll say, Roland, you don't know what you're talking about. I can catch eight pound fish or an eight pound line. And I'll tell them, I can too, but not here. This is not the place.
That's a good one. That's a good one. You get it? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good one. That's a good. I saw the weight coming. That was a big deal about this thing. I do that a lot with swim baits and top loader and spinner baits. I saw the wake of the fish before he before he hit. I dropped it back to him. I didn't know if it was a mudfish or gar because they make wakes like that too. But that's a good old bass, about four pounds. Oh, nice one, nice one. And what I did, I threw. Always threw past it though. Threw past that point. You know, uh, it's amazing this little boat, this little 1542, is a car topper, weighs less, a little less than 200 pounds. I stick it in the back of the car. But the thing is, I've run this thing two days now. Look at that battery. That's a that's a dry that's a that's a really really cool battery. That's the DECA Intimidator series. That's the AGM. The AGM is an advanced glass mat technology, and it, it's, it's like a it's like a gel battery. It, it doesn't have it's not a wet battery. It lasts a lot longer. I've been running I've run about 15 miles in the last two days. It's still running strong. I'm still going crazy. The best battery. I can't. It's a big battery. I got another battery in the back just for backup. Same thing. Another uh, de uh, a deck battery. I want to tell you what they last forever. I think you could go 20 miles on one battery. I don't know how far you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, oh hard tail time. <laughs> he came off. That's all right. That's all right. Now, what's out here and why I'm catching them out in the middle here? Is that in this area of the lake, uh, there are some small little grass beds out here, and uh, they uh, big deal. Yeah. I'll have to get another hard tail. Hydrilla, that was the problem. It's not that much of a bigger fish, it's just it's way in the hydrilla. It's that hard time. It is it, the whole thing is to get the hydrilla, like in right here in the water, just look right, right there. You can see it going under the boat. That's the whole key to it. Drop this back. The whole key is to find these patches of grass, just like this one right here. I've caught a couple out of this one. And there's a good chance to catch a big fish. I'm gonna get another, get another hard tail. Okay, now we're back to the hydrilla again. Nice long cast. Hold your rod kind of off to the side because what you're trying to do, you can either hold it up. I like on a windy day. I like to hold it off to the side. That's why I got big heavy braid. I got a big heavy braid just for this reason. You catch a big fish like that. That's what you want. He's so good. Okay, now we're talking. 
<laughs> That's a good one, son. That's a good one. Woo! Six or seven pounds. That's as good as it gets, son. Big old giant bass. Now that's that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about swim bait fishing. Big six or seven pounders like this that are just really just a handful. Nice and fat, never been caught before, free of parasites. A gorgeous fish. They're just a gorgeous fish. Let them go. Now, let me just look at this hardtail again. This is 65 pound braid. Now you might say, well, what, what in the world? You might ask, what in the world am I doing with 65 pound braid? Well, the whole thing is, is that that fish was wrapped up in the hydrilla, and it was it was a bad deal. you've seen that, that these these swim baits pay off. It's a pretty nice fish. But you need the heavy tackle. That's so so important to have good heavy tackle. If we get the right kind of tackle, hey, you catch a beautiful, beautiful bass like this one here. And it's just a lot of fun. Swim baits really, really special we have. By the way, listen, I post every Wednesday at about six o'clock in the evening. to information that's kind of my my forte is just passing on a little bit of information that I've picked up over the last 50 or 60 years I'm an old guy but I'm also a good teacher I, I was a school teacher I was an army officer teacher I was I taught rifle range stuff I did all kind of teaching I can teach you better than probably I can fish myself but the point is uh, I've enjoyed doing it I enjoy teaching people Hey, I enjoy you watching the YouTube channel, so go ahead and subscribe if you would. Uh, it's just a lot of fun doing this. We'll see you again soon.